Welcome to Illuminati Silver. It's Thursday, the 27th of January, 2022. And the time is 18.40 in the evening. That's 6.40, 20 to 7. Now, this morning, we produced a video, as we can see here, our Gold and Silver Thursday update, where we highlighted the Gold and Silver prices fell after the FOMC statement yesterday with the prospect of increasing interest rates. Now, at the time, gold had, was down some $30 and silver was down 62 cents. Since then, the price has worsened. And we can see now that gold is down $37 at 1,794, below that crucial 1,800 level. And silver is down a whopping $1.12 at 2270. A number of people will be asking why has that happened, especially while the stock markets themselves have fallen in the United States. As we can see, the Dow Jones is down 80 points at the current time. The S&P is down 30 and the Nasdaq is down a substantial 158 points, which is over 1% at this stage. Well, Bloomberg have come out and said tech giants drag down stocks while dollar jumps. Yes, it's down to the dollar. The S&P 500 fell after earlier jumping almost 2%, while the tech-heavy Nasdaq 100 underperformed. Electric car firm Tesla tumbled more than 8% after cautious comments on supply chain troubles. More than $5 trillion has been wiped off or out from stock values this year, as traders struggle to price the outlook for monetary policy. Now, we said towards the end of last year, get out of stocks. Not necessarily all in one go, but basically the markets have reached their peak, especially as Biden couldn't pump even more money into the economy because he cannot get the votes through Congress. So, what's happened to the dollar? Well, this morning, the dollar index was 96 roughly 0.7 and now we look and it's 97.2 we've said it was going to up we said it was going to aim for 97 in truth we thought perhaps it would have hit that tomorrow but it's actually done it today one of the reasons we're producing this video now some people will panic and think gold is now going to go to the floor and other people will think it's only a temporary dip. Our view is that it will consolidate potentially below 1800. And you will find out next week when we publish our 2022 forecast for gold and silver, you may very be, well be surprised at the figures that we are going to forecast for gold. Silver has taken a dip Primarily because the PMIs have not been that great. The economy, therefore, is slightly underperforming while we have the prospect of rising interest rates. And that is concerning for the markets. Now, on the geopolitical front, we haven't had much change vis-a-vis -vis Russia and the Ukraine. We'll provide more of an update in our video tomorrow morning but we do want to highlight though that US economic growth did quicken last quarter with inventory boost GDP expanded at 6.9 percent pace exceeding economists expectations and this is obviously going to guarantee these interest rate rises if not in March then certainly April, May. U.S. economic growth accelerated by more than forecast in the fourth quarter, fueled by the rebuilding of inventories and capping the strongest year since the 1980s. What we will say, however, is this dramatic growth that we have witnessed came from obviously a pandemic low, but we're not going to get, or we are very unlikely to get, the same level of growth in 2022 and in fact 
a number of analysts are already predicting that 2022 will probably be a year of rather poor performance. So, taking another quick look before we go at the gold price, actually still getting worse, now down $38. The silver price also getting worse, now down $1.14. We just wanted to update you with this information now. Clearly, any geopolitical move by Russia and Ukraine will help underpin these prices, or certainly underpin the price for gold. But that said, if there is no invasion of Ukraine, and there is some form of settlement or standoff, then really geopolitically there is nothing to drive gold and silver higher at this stage and if we before we finish take a quick look at the f any figures announced today we can see the jobless claims have slightly gone down but the continuing jobless claims have gone up and we'll cover this again tomorrow but GDP has performed much higher in the final quarter of last year than anyone anticipated. For those interested in cryptocurrencies, we can see that the cryptocurrency market has dipped 3%. Bitcoin is still gradually falling, Ethereum as well. And again, we see over the medium term for the rest of this year, Bitcoin actually not doing that well. That may give you a hint as to where we may believe gold and silver could be heading in 2022. Thank you so much for listening. We do appreciate you tuning in for the second time today. If, however, of course, you haven't listened to the video we published earlier, we've put a link below. Please subscribe, press the bell sign, thumbs up if you wish. Join us again tomorrow. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.